Welcome to Brando okay, I'm gonna show you how I turn this monkey head into the scary spider in the background. First I start to scrub until his face turns into the nightmare fuel like this. And the next step that is we're gonna create the materials and use the UV project to unwrap the fade onto the model. Now adjust the material to your like. Shade smooth it. Then we're gonna add extra more scratchy thing by adding the insect leg and her shin like in our reference in measure. Now adjust the UV until there's no more, more white part on our model. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna make the body by extruding the back part of the head of Susan. We're gonna thread the head and control B to make it more round like this. And unwrap it again. Now we're gonna create the leg by duplicate the face, then align it and extrude it until we get the leg. Keep it shutting. Now we got a leg part. You will unwrap it like the body, like the body and the head. Now duplicate it and we're gonna do it by using the proportional editing to to like change the scale the um, change the shape of the lake and unwrap it again so we can have the more variable of the lake of this model. Add a little bit of extra arm to her like that small one. Make this more scarier. Then make sure that all legs are aligned to the ground. You, you can use the subdiv subdivision modifiers to make this more smoother. Now I add the ground pane so I can know that every leg is above the ground, not by like go down into under the ground. Now add a little bit of like pixelate effect pixelate filters so it look more like PS2 game, PS1 game or something like that to create a unique effect now for the licking part you extrude the bone all over the body like the way that the bone should be is the leg, the body, the head, the little insect leg or under the shin something like that then we do this little foot, extra foot is for the IK things. In words kinematic. Then we go to post mode, we're gonna use the Born Dynamic Pro add-on to create a wiggle wiggle things. Like this. That's just until you get the feeling that you want it to be. Da, 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 da. Like that, and select all the leg and power it to the main body. Then add the IK. Now for the animation part, I will do the basic keyframe first, like three, three main keyframe to create the perfect loop, like this. Now I adjust the IK so when I move the leg, it not move the body. Now I kind of put the legs up to make the animation more realistic and move the body up and down according to the leg movement, and you got something like this. This video is like speed up by 4 or something. Here's the final result. Thank you for watching and I hope you like and subscribe my video.